Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Launched in 2017, the Resence Type 1 Squared introduced a new shape to the Resence catalog. Resence, a Belgian brand that manufactures its watches in Switzerland, builds under 500 watches a year and it's part of a new guard of independents who are doing everything possible to reimagine the telling and the reading of time, and with superb ergonomics. 41 millimeters in grade 5 titanium, the watch is slender at only 11.8 millimeters thick. Now, the distance across the wrist is broader than the way it wears. 48.5 millimeters lug to lug sounds a bit imposing, but on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the watch wears easily because it's effectively a 41 by 41 millimeter case, and the lugs, as on a wire lug Panerai Rodimir, pretty much just drape the watch over the wrist rather than projecting out creating physical form in their own right. So the watch wears like a cushion case, a 41 by 41. The lug size, in case you're wondering, because it is rather unconventional, but the lug size is 20 millimeters if you wish to accessorize with an aftermarket strap or a different OEM option. Let me take this off the wrist. We'll get a little bit closer and look at that factory strap. It is a matte finish, large rectangular scale alligator, in a dark brown with, as you can see, a sheer side that shows you the layers of construction. And there's a monotone binding stitch. And then on the underside, as with an F. Pijorn or Chopard LUC or Debatoon, you get double gaiters. So small scale round pattern on the underside and large rectangular on the top. The reason gaiter is much tougher than the calfskin usually used on the underside of straps. So this has every indication of being a five to six year strap. I find these straps with double gaiter easily make half a decade. The buckle is a counterweighted clevis style in polished titanium, and you can see the attention to detail. Not only is there a little revetment inside the buckle for the pin, but the pin features the Resence hand logo on its crown. I love that. Now, jump into the case itself. You can see it's rather minimal. Also, it's rather Panerai-like, a combination of curves and hard angles. It's all of high polish. This is grade 5 titanium, so not just hypoallergenic and feather light, but also reliably scratch-resistant to an extent that conventional titanium is not, and also scratch-resistant to an extent that most steels are not. There is a nearly invisible sapphire over the dial, and this particular dial is known as the champagne dial. Let's give ourselves a bit more light here. The champagne dial has a matte finish to it and a lovely light golden hue. If you're wondering what on earth you're looking at, you're new to Resence, let me quickly explain how Resence displays time. Now this is a regulator dial and you can see not only is it a regulator but it is an orbital planetary system. So right now you are looking at 9 p.m. on a Friday. How do I know? Well you can see it's a regulator dial with seconds, minutes, and hours. So nine hours at the index at 60, that's right about 9, and then you can see that there is a day of the week indicator, and each of the shaded days is a weekday, and then the two hollows represent the weekend days. It moves in a clockwise direction, so you can see we are in the second half of the arc that represents Friday. So it is 9 p.m. on a Friday night as the watch displays. Now it is also just a ton of fun to operate the system because the Resence Orbital Convex System, which is a 107 part 15 joule movement on top of a movement, is adjusted using this crown free system that gives you a pivoted lever on the case back. Now the watch is automatic winding, but you use the case back to ma manually wind if you wish. So you can manually wind the watch and you also use the case back to set the watch. There's a quick illustration of how this is done. and the timepiece features an ETA 28242 base movement, so 25 joules bidirectional automatic winding, 28,800 vibrations per hour, and 36 hour power reserve. On top of that, coupled via magnets, you have the Resence Orbital Convex System, which is a proprietary movement atop a movement that gives you 15 more joules and 107 more parts and creates this distinctive display of time. Now, the watch is easy to wear, it's easy to read, it has character, and from a brand making less than 500 watches a year, it it also offers exclusivity and a very hip point of entry into the chic world of independent horology. You can see and you can own this Resence Type 1 Squared on the watch box. And we're back with the Resence Type 1 Squared. As you can see, not only is it well loomed, but it's also very entertaining by night.